my ears sounds so much alike that it's very hard for me to distinguish one from another, you know. Whereas blues musicians, since they're playing less notes and there's more space in the music, the, the phrases are easy to identify someone, you know. It's easier to tell B.B. King from Albert King, you know, or it's, for me, when I hear Kirk Fletcher, I immediately know who it is. Or when, when, when I hear Stevie Ray, or even when I hear John Mayer, I can recognize his playing. Because they're playing less notes. So there's more space, there's more phrasing, and it's easier to hear who's who, I guess. Well, yeah. Or both yeah. musicians yeah. are part of the problem. Uh, it's, I think everybody's the problem because they all want to make money and they all want to sell records and they all base their success off someone else who's made a lot of money and you know so they, they, they sort of pattern themselves after people that are more famous than them so they can hop on that bandwagon and they're sort of saying well if they like this then they'll like us right and to me that's totally the wrong approach they <laughs> They should say, let's try to do something that no one's ever heard before and see if people like it. And a lot of times, more people will like that because it's different. I think people are tired of, of the corporate, uh, you know, identifiable sound in any kind of music. Yeah. You know, they don't want to hear something that's generic. They want to hear something that's brand new and fresh. But it's easier said than done. <laughs> you know, because it's not that easy to come up with music that's really original. It's very hard. And tell me what you think about the internet technologies. They are saving well, the music, but they are killing the music. Killing more than saving. Killing. Because, um, well, I think a lot of what people say is, is total bullshit. I think that that saying that Let's put this guy's music on the web for free, and when people hear it and download it, they're going to want to go out and buy the real record. I think that's the biggest bunch of bullshit. That, 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 you know, that's just pure bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are poor, the economy is bad, people don't want to spend money. And if they'll get something for free, they'll get it. Right? Okay. And, 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 when I ask my record company for a budget, they say, I'm sorry, I can only give you so much amount of money. And I go, yeah, but that's less than the last record. And they go, well, the reason is, is because on your new record, half your fans are gonna go out and buy it, and the other half are gonna steal it off these BitTorrent sites. And that's money you're never gonna see. So that's money out of my family's mouth. You know what I mean? Because that's money I can't get because of these thieving fucking motherfuckers <laughs> that are going to download the shit for free and, and never go out and buy the record. And, and how and we can come out from this situation? You can't. Because if it's digital, you can steal it. And it's a lost cause because uh, it's only going to get worse. Because there is no way to protect that. You know, that's, there's no way, because if you make it digital, no matter how much you encode it, someone will figure out how to break that code, and then they'll come up with another code, and someone will figure out how to break that. And we're lost. The whole business is lost. I mean, every day I get emails that say, that say don't go out and see Sherlock Holmes at the theater. You know, download it for free. You know, watch it on your big TV in your living room. You know what I mean? And this is, this is just as criminal as robbing a bank. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just the same fucking criminal bullshit. It's like going into a 7-Eleven with a gun and saying, give me the money in your cash register. It's the same fucking thing. No different. You know what I mean? So, okay. so, 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 yeah, the internet is killing the music business. And, and, uh, I, I got yeah. all this music for my job. Yeah, the that's today. different. That's publicity. That's a whole different thing. You know, if I if I give if I give a website, which I do, which I give like if I make a new record, I'll give someone one song and say, here, here's a song. Take it for free. 
spread it around. I want everybody to hear it because maybe if they like this song, they'll go out and buy the record. But I'm not going to give them the whole record so they can download it and then not go buy it at the store because this just takes money out of my six-year-old daughter's mouth. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And, and this is bullshit. You know, music shouldn't be free. Musicians work for a living just like dentists and lawyers and plumbers and they need to be paid for their work. Yeah. So, so uh, that, that's, that's my take on it. If you ask most musicians, that's what they're going to say. Yeah. You know? On because, the other side, it's yeah. the, the yeah. real yeah. way to... Because to we're just people like anybody else. We're just trying to make a living. You know, okay. and, and uh, that's it. Tell me something about your job nowadays. Uh, my records, your job. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to write a new album, and we're doing a new Tribal Tech album in May. And then I'm touring with um, my own trio in about a week we start. And touring Italy? Italy, all over Europe, and then India. And, and then going back to the United States. And then I have a tour in South America coming, coming soon with Dennis Chambers and Jeff Berlin on bass. So that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, just trying to, uh, you know, I have a six-year-old, so I'm trying not to tour as much as I was. I don't like to go out for like a long period of time. I'd rather go out for like two weeks and come home and then three weeks and then come home, and two weeks and come home, rather than like this tour that I'm on now is almost seven weeks long. So it's pretty long to be away from my daughter. Yeah. But, but, you know, rock bands, go out for months and months and months and months. Like I know Tool, I know Danny Carey really well from Tool. And he's telling me, you know, they're going out for six months. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, dude. But they don't have kids, you know, they don't have kids. So it's okay, you know. I mean, they, they're, 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 it's, it's they're younger problem. and they're, they're, they're able to tell them for the family. Yeah, but it is a problem for the family. But they're so rich, they can afford to bring their family along with them. My wife is calling me. <laughs> just now. Yeah. Well, because I'm out from home just for if I could three afford, hours. Yeah, right. If I could afford to bring my daughter with me, I would, you know, but she's only six and I think this would be a little bit much for her. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well thank you so much. Cool. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for all. My pleasure. Stavo pensando però a metterla là senza tradurla sarà un grosso grosso casino. <ride>